Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a tool that will help us uh, find our, our files on our system in a way that we don't have to rely entirely on perhaps a date that it was created or the file name itself. And that uh, tool or concept that we'll be looking at is called Keywords. So let me explain here what we're, what we're going to do. We'll open up the Windows Explorer here and look on my desktop. I've got a folder here called Tuesday. And in that folder, I've got a number of drawing files that have numeric names. So it is a concept that uh, lends itself well to keywords because it may not be readily apparent looking at the names itself in this numeric fashion, what, in you know, what exactly is contained within the file. So let's, uh, let's pick a file here. I'm going to pick one that's going to be easy for us to remember. I've got 318.333.3 DWG. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to right click, and if we look at the tabs that we get under properties, we look at the summary tab, this is the area that I want to focus on today in the area of keywords. All right, with, uh, with keywords, we can associate key information about this particular file, and then we can use that to search for it later to find it quickly. And it's entirely up to you what you want to search for. Maybe you want to put in the county where the project is located. Maybe you want to put in the last name of the owner. Maybe you want to put in the projection that's used in the file. Uh, the contractor who's working on it. Uh, I mean, it's limitless what you want to be able to search for. And like I said, this is really nice because it can help us uh, over and above uh, relying on the, the date and the file name itself when we want to find these files in the future, or maybe get files clustered together, like what projects have I worked on in this area, what jobs have I used this contractor, what um, projects have the particular projection associated with them. So can be very, very helpful. Um, we can view it, as we just saw, by right-clicking on the file, going to Properties, and looking at Summary. However, we can't add the keywords here. We can only add the keywords within the file itself. All right, so uh, one, we can view it outside the file, which is kind of cool because then we have access to it without actually having to open the drawing up. But uh, if we're going to edit those, we have to go into the file itself. So let me show you how we would do that. We'll close out of this. I'm going to go ahead and open, and we'll come down. It was uh, 318.333.3, so we'll go ahead and open that. File comes up. I won't worry about the unreconciled new layers for right now. And the area where we will go to access the keywords is when we click on the down arrow here, we'll go to Drawing Utilities and then up to Drawing Properties. And when we go up to Properties, we've got several tabs. Uh, the Summary tab here, we could leverage things like Title, Subject, Author. We could add comments or a hyperlink. Uh, for right now, I just want to focus primarily on the keywords. So we'll go ahead and uh, select that. And maybe what we're looking for right now is the uh, county that it was in. I could put that in. If you wanted to separate keywords, I could uh, separate them by commas. Uh, technically, I think I could even separate them by spaces as well. I'll show you why here in just, uh, in just a moment. So we'll uh, leave it just for the county for right now. What we want to search for, I can show you how that works. We'll go ahead and click on OK. We'll save this. Because we all know that until we save it, it doesn't really exist. Let's come down and we'll even close out of that file. And we're back into a blank drawing. All right. Let's say now that I'm interested in finding all the projects that are, you know, that I've worked on within that county or all drawings that are, are part of that county. The way that I would find it with my keyword is by going into Design Center. So I'll type in ADC, which will automatically load up my Design Center. I'll hit Enter. And we'll come down and look on my desktop, that same folder, Tuesday. I'll right-click on Tuesday, and we'll say Search. And then I can just fill in the dialog for what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, in this case, just drawings. Uh, I can drill down to the folder that I'm interested in. It's already pointing to that one on my system, or I could browse further. I could search subfolders, or just look at the root. We'll look at subfolders. And I'm searching for, we'll say, Kane in the keywords area. So if it finds Kane in the keywords area, that's uh, that would be the file we're looking for. We could further refine it by when it was last worked on or uh, other information regarding size or containing text, um, whatever the case may be. So in this case, let's go ahead and we'll click on search now. We search, we'll give that a couple of seconds, and we see that it automatically finds the file that we, we dealt with, the 318.333.3 where we applied the keyword. 
All right. The one uh, tip that I would give you is if you're going to leverage multiple keywords, for example, you were to put in like Kane and then comma, then maybe the project manager name, comma, um, you know, whatever you're going to go to next. When you do your search words here, it's good to uh, put asterisks around those uh, because I don't know that, um, at least my experience has been that uh, if we just use the keyword itself, even though they're separated by commas, sometimes it doesn't always pull that out, throw an asterisk in front of and behind it so that it finds everything that, you know, that would contain that in the, uh, in the keyword and your, uh, your success in locating that will be greater. So anyway, I, uh, I hope this is helpful. I hope it uh, helps you locate some of your files or give you maybe a, a strategy or an approach to uh, tagging some of these to make them easier to find in the future. And uh, I look forward to uh, talking to you again soon. See ya.